Welcome back guys! In the previous session we have seen how we can debug a Blazor application that runs in the Elkitron or on the desktop. Today we will start with communicating with the native APIs of the operating system. And we will start by dialogues, which is always something like hello world. So, to do this we will start by showing first a basically a message box, then we will see the, the open file dialog and the side file dialog. So I will start by creating a new razor component within the pages dot razor like that and click OK. I will set the router of this page slash dialogs like this. Okay, that's good. Now I will go to the shared nav menu and I will copy this then I will add a nav for nav item for our yellows yellows like this okay that's just good now I'll go to the imports here and I will import elkitron net dot api dot entities and elkitron net dot apis ah, sorry guys Okay, that's good. Now let's move back to the our dialog razor, and I will type here welcome to dialogs with Elkitron. That's good. I will create a div. This div gonna be a row bootstrap. Okay. Then I will divide it into four columns. Ah, come on. Dev class equal four. Like that. That's good. And here we'll start with this one. Message box dialog. Okay. Then I will add a button class. BTN, BTN, success, show message box. Okay, I will add here code section where I will type my C sharp code and I will create a function called show message box async. Okay, this one has to be waitable. Sync task. Right now, if I want to show that message, I have the Elkitron class, this one within the Elkitron net dot API head dot. So here you have all the catalogs we can deal with. I want to deal with dialog dot show message box async. It's a pretty simple hello world from Elkitron and dialogs. Okay, and you can add the wait keyword here. And that's it. It's pretty, pretty simple. Right now we can call this method from the button here. Add on click equals. And let's add this one. And that's it. Okay, I will move back to the terminal. Click .NET build. Okay. Then we can run the application, electronize, start. Okay, great. This is our... Uh, ah, sorry, we haven't specified... Ah, sorry for that. I'll go back to the nav menu. And here I have in the nav link, yeah, I have to specify dialogs like this. Slash dialogs, okay. Now let's run the application again. Okay. Here we go. We have the top message, message box dialog, and we have this button. Let me click on it. And here we go. This is a very basic message box. But as you can see, it's not from the browser, the same like you see on the Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Here you are saying that message box but comes from Windows. You can see the button here, the window, the 
the frame and the color, everything is just came from Windows because it's related to the operating system. So this is the first type of dialog. Right now, let's see the second type, which is the open file dialog. I will copy this and paste it here. I will add just yeah, a horizontal line. Here we have save file dialog dot warning okay show open file so save file dialog like that now I will create another method here task show save file dialog async okay now, this one, if the user wants to save a file, so you want to add this functionality, the user has to choose, okay, let me close this. Uh, the user has to choose a file. In this case, you have to open up the save file dialog and it returns a file path for you. So to get started with this, I will create an options equals a new save dialog options. And this one is existing within the elkitron.api.entities. Okay, so here we can specify all the properties required for uh, the dialog. For example, the button label, the default path, if you want to specify the filters and the message with the title. I'll specify the title, choose path to save the file like this. Then we have to specify the filters. The filter is going to be a new array of type file filter like this. Now each file filter you can put it in within an object name equals JSON files. You can set any name you want. Then for the extensions, it has also a new array of strings. You can specify the extensions here for this type of files, but we have only one JSON like that. For example, you have sometimes JBG or JBEG, which is the same, but four letters or three letters. Here we have only JSON, I'll copy it. Here I have XML, this is file, XML, and you have text, TXT, this way. Okay, that's good. Now I have all the options. Sorry, I have put this in the wrong place. Yeah. Ah, come on. Okay. Now I have initialized all the options. I'm ready to show the dialog. But before of this, I need to get the window that actually currently running and that want to show that dialog, which is the main window. To get that window, I can call it the variable main window equals elkitron dot window manager dot browser windows dot first it's a link function browser window a collection contains all the windows that are currently running so the first window is of course the main window right now to show the dialog you can say var file path equals await Elkitron, Elkitron dot dialog dot show save dialog async. Then it takes two parameters. First, the window want to show this dialog, which is the main window, and the options. So I'll put the options here, and I'm just ready to go. So. I will then show a message box that has the selected uh, file or I can show it here. Okay, I will create a paragraph. And this paragraph will contain the file path. I will create a variable here. String file path. Well, string dot empty. Then can remove this one so I can show it in this way in the UI instead of a dialog box. Okay, good. 
right now I can copy this, paste it here, and I'm ready to go again. So back to the terminal, build the application. And I'll get your eyes, start. Okay, our application again. Here I'll go to dialogs and I have save file dialog. Let's click on that. And here we go. We can choose a file uh, to save the content. For now, we don't have a content, but we will do it in the next uh, video. We'll talk about the file systems, but we will use uh, the same window. So I'll call this file my settings. Then here I have all the filters, XML, file, text file. I'll choose text. Then press save. And it returns the users del desktop my settings.txt. Then I, right now I can use this path to save the file or read, write, whatever. But for this case, it's of course saving because we chose the file to save. Right now, let's move to the, the last tab, which is open file dialog. It's going to be pretty similar to the save, but with a little change. Let me copy this. I'll paste it here. Call it open. We have success, warning, and primary. Like that, and the method will be called show open file dialog async. Open file dialog. Okay, that's good. Now I'll copy this, paste it here, and I will turn it to open file, open dialog options, like this. Choose a path to choose a file, like this because right now we want to open a file. Now we have JSON, XML, file, text file, the same, but here we have another additional options. For example, properties. Properties is just a list also of, or array, sorry. Here we go. Dialog, open dialog property dot. Here you have create directory, multi selections, open file, open directory. You can set if you want to open a directory or if you want to open a file, show hidden files. You can set all those properties. For this, uh, I will choose multi selections. Then open dialog property dot, for example, show hidden files. Like that. Okay, that's good. It takes, as you can see, a list. So, right now, we get the window the same thing, but here we will call show open dialog async. We've got the options, but the difference here is this one returns an array of files because it's not only one file. So, I will create an array string open file or selected files. Equals new string, I'll initialize it with nothing. Then selected files going to be this result, and here in the UI, okay, let me change the name of this to open. And here I will iterate over our file in selected files for each iteration I can create a paragraph or I can set it within a list like that and this one going to be list item list item and depend the file but of course as I've said in this case we will choose multiple files or even a one file but if you want to only make the open file dialog choose one file, you can just set the multi selections, remove it, and it's all done. So let me close this again and call the two comments. Now. Okay. Go back to our famous page. And I will click on it show open file dialog right now 
I don't have any text files here. Let me create one. New text document. First file. And I will copy, paste it, paste it. Okay. And paste it all the fourth time. Let me choose text file. And here we go. We have all the files. So I will choose only one. So I have chosen this one. Right now, let's try to also text file. Click open. And I have four paths right now to deal with all those files. That's it. It's pretty, pretty easy, right? Let's make just a very, very quick recap before we move on to the next section. I can use the command Elkitron dialog.show message box async to show a message box. Here I can pass a string and show save file dialog async. I can create an options, set the title, the filters is an array of type file filter. Each file filter contains consists from a name and then extensions is also a list of array. For example, uh, maybe here you won't use it too much, but in the open file dialog, yeah, you will use it. For example, you want to open an image file, so instead of setting uh, JPG, PNG, PMB, here you can just set image files and set all the extensions this way. This is the, for this reason, you should pass an array of file extensions for the file filter. And for the open file dialog, you have properties, open dialog property, multi selections, or if you want to open a directory, you can just set the open dialog property to open directory. Then you bring the window, the currently window or the main window, which is the first one, and at the end just call Elkitron dialog that show open dialog async or show save dialog async. Save dialog async returns only one string, which is convenient because you save for one file, and show open dialog async returns an array of files. So if you specify only one file, it will return an array with one item or array with multiple items. That was everything about the dialog. Hope you enjoyed this session and you found it useful. Thank you so much for watching. And in the next video, we will use those capabilities, the open and save file dialog to read and write from files. So thank you and see you in the next video.